Good evening, everybody. Today, we are going to learn how to, how to extend carbon chain in organic chemistry, right? That is, we want to increase the number of carbon in carbon chain, right? Like, we want to convert uh, ethanol to propanol, right? If you observe here, ethanol has two carbon, right? And propanol has three carbon. So, how to increase number of carbon in the chain? Well, let me give you some basic idea about the number of, about the <coughs> number of, uh, about how to increase the number of carbon in the chain, right? Well, to increase carbon chain, right? That is, to increase the number of carbon in the chain, basic interconversion compound, right? right? Basic interconversion compound is halogenoalkane, right? That is alkyl halide. Well, if you uh, add uh, alcoholic potassium cyanide to alkyl halide, then you will get alkyl ni nitail which has right which has one more carbon than halogenoalkane this uh, by this way we can uh, we can increase the number of carbon in the chain right and everything will be clear to you if you study this example right at first uh, would like to convert ethanol to propyl nitrile, uh, propyl amine, propanol, and propanoic acid, right? <coughs> well, so this is ethanol. Our targeted compound is halogenoalkane or alkyl halide. So we have to use, uh, uh, we have to use uh, uh, phosphorus triiodide or uh, phosphorus plus iodine, right? That is, if you if we uh, the reaction between phosphorus and iodine uh, produce phosphorus triiodide, ethanol react with phosphorus triiodide and produce uh, iodoethane, right? And if you add here alcoholic potassium cyanide, then this this iodine will be replaced by cyanide, right? As a result, you are getting one more carbon, right? This is one, this is two, and this is three, right? But iodoethane has two carbon. Well, now if you <coughs> if you if you add here ACL. If you hydrolyze this propane nitrile by ACL and water, then you are getting propanoic acid. That is, CA is uh, that is cyanide radical will will be converted to carboxylic acid group. Thus, you are getting propanoic acid. So, ethanol to we are getting here ethanol to propanoic acid. Right? Well. And if you uh, reduce this propane nitrile by lithium aluminium hydride, then you will get here propylamine, right? Here is propylamine. So thus we are getting propylamine. And propylamine also has one, one carbon, uh, one, one more carbon, right? This is propylamine and propyl amine has one more carbon than ethanol. Well, if you add here nitrous acid which will come from sodium nitrite and ACL, then this NH2 group will be converted to wedge group, that is alcohol group, and you will get propanol, right? So, uh, you now you can convert ethanol to propane nitrile, propyl amine, propanol 1, and propanoic acid. Check the description box of this video. You will get a link and you will be benefited if you go to that link. So, 
थैंक यू फॉर व्यूइंग दिस वीडियो बी वेल